and we are back. Mock draft time, part two or three, I don't know. I'm doing free mock draft. Oh, what are you? Uh, but anyway, let's get straight into it. Just to note, the list I did make was on Saturday. So any signings or trades or anything that happened to happen will not be, you know, accounted for. For example, this is kind of spoiling, but the Brandon Cooks trade to the Cowboys, I am not going to be counting because it has not yet happened at the time I made the list. Obviously, I'm recording this on Monday. Never really had time to record it. I just had time to, you know, fill it out on my notebook, who would be selecting who. So, yeah, let's get straight into it. And also, there are other stuff that, like, have not officially happened, like Rodgers to the Jets. It hasn't officially happened, but I, I it's going to, let's be honest. There's a 99% chance it happens. Another one, Austin Eckler. I think he's going to be traded, so I think the Chargers will, you know, take a running back in this. All right, let's, let's go. Starting out at number one overall, we have the Carolina Panthers. <laughs> and I'm going to go risky here. I think they're going to go C.J. Stroud, quarterback out of Ohio State. <laughs> Very weird pick. I personally think he's probably the second best, maybe third, maybe even fourth for some people. Obviously, there's four quarterbacks. It could all very well go number one. Uh, and I think the Panthers are going to take C.J. Stroud. And with two, I think the Texans are going to take Bryce Young. So back-to-back -back quarterbacks going. By the way, no trades as well. So uh, teams aren't going to be trading around picks in this. And also... For example, I think for the Rodgers trade, the Jets are going to give up pick 13 in it. But at the moment, they still have pick 13. So we're going to, you know, it's going to be pick 13 still. Number three, we have the Arizona Cardinals. I think they're going to go Will Anderson Jr. edge out of Alabama. Next, at number four, we have the Indianapolis Colts. And for the longest time, I thought they were going to take Will Levis. Now I think they're going to go Anthony Richardson. At number five, we have the Seahawks. I think they're going to go Miles Murphy, edge out of Clemson. Next, at number six, we have the, the Lions. I think they're going to take Christian Gonzalez, cornerback out of Oregon. <laughs> number seven, we have the Raiders. I think they're going to go Paris Johnson, offensive tackle out of Ohio State. Also, remember, I don't know anything about college. So, like, if these players suck, I'm going off of what... Uh, what is this? Pro Football Network. So don't get mad at me for not knowing college. I guess you can, but I don't know college really well. I really just watch uh, Ohio State and uh, the National Championship. That's about it. Who's up next? Number eight is the Falcons. I think they're going to go Quentin Johnson. For the longest time, I thought it would be Jordan Addison, but I think they're going to take Quentin Johnson now. Number nine, the Bears. I think they're going to take Jalen Carter. He fell all the way down here because I just feel like no one really needs a D tackle that badly. And plus, with the kind of news, I, I don't believe it's true, but I think that's going to slightly affect his draft stock. Rounding out the top ten, we have Philadelphia. I think they're going to take Tyree Wilson Edge out of Texas Tech. At number 11, we have the Titans, and I think they are going to go with Broderick Jones, offensive tackle out of Georgia. At number 12, we have the Texans picking for the second time, and I think the double down, they're going to take wide receiver Jordan Addison out of USC, get a good young quarterback wide receiver duo, especially now that Brandon Cooks is now gone. I know I said I wasn't going to count it, but that just kind of makes my pick even better, I feel like. <coughs> <clears throat> 13, we have the Jets. They're going to go Brian Breesy, defensive tackle out of Clemson. Sorry, I have allergies right now. <clears throat> so if you hear any weird noises, that's just, I don't have any tissues near me. Plus, I'm just I'm just trying to clear stuff out of my nose. Uh, we just took Brian Breesy, which means at 14, I think the Patriots are going to take Trenton Simpson, a linebacker out of Clemson. 15, we have Green Bay. I think they're going to take Jackson, Smith, and Jigba. 
wide receiver at Ohio State. Next, we have the Commanders at 16. I think they're going to take Will Levis, quarterback, out of Kentucky. At number 17, we have the Steelers. I think they're going to take Devin Witherspoon, cornerback, out of Illinois. I think they're going to go him instead of Joey Porter. At number 18, we have the Lions again. I think they're going to take Brian Branch, safety, out of Alabama. 19, we have the Buccaneers. I think they're going to take Lucas Van Ness, edge out of Iowa. And at number 20, I think the Seahawks are going to take Joey Porter Jr., cornerback out of Penn State. 21, the Chargers. I think they're going to take B. John Robinson, running back out of Texas, with Edward more than likely being gone in my opinion. I think the Chargers are going to try and get another good running back. Number 22, we have the Ravens. I think they're going to go Jalen Hyatt, wide receiver out of Tennessee. I don't think they're going to get rid of Lamar Jackson. And I think they're going to try and make him happy. So maybe he'll take less money. So they're going to give him a receiver. Number 23, I think the Vikings are going to go Keely Ringo, cornerback out of uh, Georgia. I think at 24, the Jaguars are going to go Michael Mayer. Tight end out of Notre Dame. Obviously, probably the best in the class, tight end-wise. Number 25, I think the Giants are going to go Cam Smith, cornerback out of South Carolina. And number 26, I think the Cowboys are going to take a bit of a weird pick here. And are going to go a bit of a reach, but get Osiris Torrance. I'm really trying to bolster that offensive line. 27, we have the Bills. I think they're going to... Take a bit of a reach, too, and get Henry Tuo Tuo, linebacker, Alabama. Don't know how to pronounce his name. I'll figure it out once the draft happens, obviously. At number 28, I think we're going to see Isaiah Foskey. Where is he? Uh, be taken here. 29, we have the Saints. I think they're going to go... B.J. Ojolari, edge out of LSU. At number 30, I think we're going to see Clark Phillips III be drafted here. And at 31, I think the Chiefs are going to take wide receiver Josh Downs out of North Carolina. <coughs> at number 32, we have Steelers. I think they're going to take Peter Skoronsky, offensive tackle out of Northwestern, next we have the Texans. I think they're going to take Nolan Smith, edge out of Georgia. <laughs> Next, we have the Cardinals. And I think they're going to take Jameer, Jameer something, Gibbs, running back out of Alabama. I don't think James Conner is going to be there much longer. And I think they're really going to try and get uh, a new guy. At number 35, I think the Colts are going to take Dewan Jones. Offensive tackle out of Ohio State, they like to take him over and and Anton Antoine Harrison, and this is where the Rams take him, the pick after. Next at thirty-seven, I have the Seahawks, and I think they're going to take Zay Flowers, a wide receiver out of Boston College. At number thirty-eight, I have the Raiders taking John Michael Schmitz, center out of Minnesota. Really trying to boost that O-line for Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, next, we have... Who is it? Carolina, I think they're going to take Felix Enudike Uzama. Oh, we have an eye pop-up. Let's get that out of here. At number 40, we have the Saints. I think they're going to take Gervin Dexter, defensive tackle out of Florida. 41, we have the Titans. I think they're going to take Tui, Tui Puotu, edge out of USC. I know I butchered that. Almost guaranteed. There's a chance I didn't. 42, we have the Browns. I think they're going to take Drew Sanders, linebacker out of Arkansas. Number 43, we have the Jets. I think they're going to take Siaki Ika, Ika defensive tackle out of Baylor. Number 44, I think the Falcons are going to take Darnell Wright, offensive tackle out of Tennessee. 
Number 45, I think the Packers are going to take Darnell Washington, tight end out of Georgia. Number 46, I think the Patriots are going to take Cedric Tillman, wide receiver out of Tennessee. <coughs> 47, I think the Commanders are going to take Ke Keon White, edge out of Georgia Tech. I think I pronounced that right. 48, we have the Lions. I think they're going to take, now this is going to be an interesting one. Luke Masgra Musgrave, tight end Oregon State. 49, we have the Steelers. I think they're going to take Derek, wait, is that right? Yeah, Derek Hall, edge out of Auburn. And 50, I think the Buccaneers are going to take Zach Charbonnet, Charbonnet, running back out of UCLA. At 51, we have the Dolphins. I think they're going to take Deontay Banks, cornerback out of Maryland. With Ramsey and Xavier Howard getting up there in age, I think they're going to try and build younger. Let these guys develop behind two of the best in the league. And then, you know, they can ship Ramsey and Howard out. And have, you know, young guys like Igman Nagane and Dion Banks. 52. I think the Seahawks are going to take Kalijah Kansi, defensive tackle out of Pittsburgh. 53. We have the Bears. I think they're going to take Cody Mach. Offensive tackle, North Dakota State. Another confusing one to announce. 54, we have the Chargers. I think they're going to take Emmanuel Forbes, cornerback out of Mississippi State. 55, we have the Lions. And I'm going to throw a curveball here. I think they're going to take Hendon Hooker, quarterback out of Tennessee. I think they're going to try... And get a bit younger at quarterback, let Goff play another year or two, and then move on from him for a guy like Hennon Hooker. At number 56, we have J.L. Skinner, safety out of Boise State, going to the Jaguars. 57, we have the Giants. I think they're going to go with Rasheed Rice, wide receiver, SMU. 58, we have the Cowboys. I think they are going to take... Where is he? Oh, there he is. I just missed him. Marvin Mims, wide receiver out of Oklahoma. Remember, this is uh, before the Brandon Cooks trade. So take that into account. 59, I think we're going to see them take uh, the Bills, take Jarrett Patterson, offensive guard out of Notre Dame. Oh, I'm going to drop my phone. At pick 60, I think the Titans, or the, excuse me, not the Titans, the Bengals are going to take Dalton Kincaid, tight end out of Utah. At 61, we have the Bears. I think they are going to take Andre Carter to second, who is an edge out of Army. Very interesting. I don't think I've really ever seen an Army guy, you know, get drafted, let alone, you know, be a projected second-round pick. Uh, pick 62, I have the Eagles taking Noah Sewell, linebacker of Oregon. And finally... Pick 53, or 63, excuse me. I have the Chiefs taking Jalen Duncan, offensive tackle out of Maryland, since they just lost Orlando Brown. Here's the full results. I'm just going to scroll through it. You guys can look. There's a DraftKings sponsorship. Uh, I'm not associated with DraftKings. I'm not even 21 or 18. I don't know. How old it is to gamble. I know it's 21 where I live. I don't know if it's 18 in some places. But yeah. Uh, do I think my mock draft is right? No. Absolutely not. Do I think it's close to being right? Uh, I think there's some positions where I really nailed it. But others, I think I'm way off. I just really don't know. I'm going off of what this list says. It's not really updated the best because it's not accounting a lot of the free agents, which is kind of weird. So, yeah. <laughs> and plus, it's a draft. No one really knows. We don't know what these guys think 
obviously, if we want to go back to last year, for the longest time, I thought it was going to be Aiden Hutchinson or Kayvon Thibodeau, number one overall. Turned out being Trayvon Walker. Turns out all three of them are pretty good from what I think. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, do I think Bryce Young or CJ Stroud could be it? I don't know. Could be Anthony Richardson. It could be Will Levis. I just don't know. So, I hope you enjoyed. I did. Let me know, you know, how I did. If you disagree, agree. That's about it. There's only two options, really. Uh, and, yeah, I will see you guys next time, which will be tomorrow with uh, XFL Week, what is it, 6 Power Rankings? Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.